Hello everybody, welcome back to the Organic Reef Challenge. Welcome back to Greenland and I'm down at the dealership. Uh, it is the next day, the next month. We have moved two day seasons just to help extend things because we're pretty busy just now um, and we are a year into our project. We are a year into the challenge so um, after, as the rules state we can change the, the progression um, to multiple day seasons after a year so we are on to that now since the last episode we have done quite a fair bit and um, what we're going to do first is we're going to sell this baler and this tedder and we're going to upgrade a little bit um, they're both uh, mods that we're going to use one's from the Kubota pack and one is from um, is a, a tried and tested favorite of mine from FS19 as well so what we're going to do we'll sell these and then we'll repair that and repaint that and then we'll sell that for 24 which is pretty good and then repair that repaint that and we're going to sell that you can probably you've probably just noticed as well we've got this sitting here so this just came up in the second hand deals um, and I thought it's going to be perfect for moving potatoes about down at our packing facility so um, yeah, it seemed a no-brainer. It was 33,000 that, so it was about 44% off, so it's pretty good. Uh, obviously bought the shovel. So what we're going to do is go into here, and we'll quickly do this, and then we'll chat about what we're going to do today. So the baler I'm going to go for is the Big Pack 12080. Um, I'm just going to get it standard, and yeah, we'll change the plate to uh, organic okay that's that changed and yeah we'll buy that and then part of the Kubota equipment pack has got a whole load of equipment so if we go down to Tedder's um, it's also got a bunch in there and it's they're pretty good actually so this this is the one we just had, the Fanex 604. To upgrade is is not too much money, and it gives us nine meters as opposed to 6.1, so it's quite a big upgrade. Uh, we're just going to keep it all original. Um, we'll just keep that as that, and then yeah, what we need to do is be able to transport that down, but we'll do that later. What we've got to do today, though, is a fair few things. Off camera, I've, I did four bailing contracts, so our money went up to about 145. Um, and then, obviously, I bought this again. Uh, we've uh, obviously just bought this stuff as well, but that's not really um, cost us a great deal from what we've just sold. So that's quite nice. Um, and then. What we've also did, there was a fertilising contract came up, so we did that as well. Um, so I've just done that, and that, that was over on field 13, no, it's field 3, sorry. Uh, and that gave us uh, around about 9 grand as well, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, I sold 28 silage bales, and because uh, we keep hitting the bale limit, so it's quite frustrating, so we've decided to sell 28 bales from contracts um, and in total from all our potato fields I managed to get the other field uh, harvested as you saw uh, we've got 174,000 litres of potatoes off those fields so um, yeah when we go down to the potato packing facility you'll see how many are undercover just now there's a lot um, and I have processed uh, a full trailer load through the packing facility and we have got a stack of pallets as well um, the two potato fields then I got them mulched and we've got them mulched then we got them ploughed uh, and yeah, stone picked uh, no, sorry, they're not stone picked yet. They have been lined. Um, so, what I was going to wait to do is get uh, the next uh, field uh, harvested and then we'll get a stone picker on that as well. What I'm going to do with these fields up here, I'm going to put um, I'm going to put some sort of 
grain in there. I'm going to put uh, uh, oats in there. This spring, uh, sorry, uh, winter winter wheat, sorry, in there, and then yeah, that's going to give us um, straw for the following year, which is good. Uh, I've collected all the wool up, um, so we put it all on a trailer. But we have got more to collect here, and I cut the grass here as well. So the grass has been cut, and that, uh, that's why we've got the tedder and the baler. Now in here we have sugar beet. So I've swapped over my my uh, uh, garden to sugar beet. Reason being is we've got potatoes coming out of our ears, and sugar uh, is our next on the agenda. I also bought some bales of straw. Um, I said hay earlier, didn't I? I, think, I, think. I, mean, oh, I meant straw. Uh, we've got yeah bits for making TMR, and I have made up some more TMR up for the cows and fed them this morning. Uh, sheep have been fed. So yeah, lots have been happening. Our oldest cows are on 90% reproduction, so we're going to have to move the oldest cows over into this new cow barn. Uh, we'll get them in, and let's just turn the interactive marker zooms off. Uh, yeah, the, we're going to have to yeah, get them in there, the calving barn, um, so we can yeah, so we don't lose out on new births. So. What we need to do then is get this tedded and then yeah once it's tedded that's fine I'm not too bothered about baling it just now um, but if we can get it tedded then yeah I'll just take a load off later there we go so leave that there I'll put this on the front back instead so yeah, busy, busy, busy since uh, since the last episode. As you can see, the grass has started to grow again. So I cut it, and then yeah, it grew back exactly the next day. So right, okay, start here. I think yeah, it's a nice, nice big tether. This it's good. That tree, I know. There we go. So, if I put a bit of a headland in here, then what I'll do is I'll just get a worker on it, I think, and then. Yeah, we'll see you down probably at the potato unit. Potato packing facility because we need to get that field done. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad amount of uh, grass come off here. So yeah, and this hay will should carry us over the winter. Next year, I will definitely look at sort of our fields and yeah, what we're going to put in them because yeah, this field is perfect for grass, but our farmyard is expanding rapidly and we're starting to lose this field a little bit. Um, so I, I do need some more grass fields. The pig farm that I mentioned on the last episode that I'm looking to buy does have two grass fields with it, so that would easily. Um, sets up nicely for that so that would work and um, but yeah at the moment this is all we've got the silage so our BGA is going great guns and um, I just keep keep it keeping it at a hundred thousand liters full all the time um, and then yeah the methane's looking amazing as well let's have a quick look Dum, dum, dum. There we go. Yeah, so it's 59 liters there. But what I've done is I installed the storage tank uh, as part of the pack. I installed that, um, and that's that's I've been putting all the 
all the methane in there, so we've got about 8,000. Could be lying there. Let's put it here. About 7,000 litres of um, methane in storage at the moment, so we will sell that when we're ready. The honey, what I've decided to do, I'm just going to let that run down and play a bit more realistically. So the winter here, our honey will reduce, um, and then in the spring, I'll get some more bees uh, to yeah, keep that going for another year. But um, yeah, it's a bit more representative of real life. We don't get honey all year round, in, especially in the UK. Um, so yeah. But yeah, we've got our got our cow barn installed as you can see, and um, it's looking, looking all right. Um, I went for the the self-made one in the end because because I think it just fits and sits a little bit better as a carving barn. And yeah, I've put this manure heap extension in at the end here as well to so we're definitely going to get manure out of that pen. I think I'll put manure in that one and I'll keep slurry in the other one. So I've waffled on a lot here so we'll get this finished um, and get it all tethered and then yeah we'll head down to the potato field because it's ready to harvest. Okay so we're back down at the potato field I've got Alex helping out with the harvest again, so he's he's using the potato harvester just now. He's got his vent down here again, and yeah, I'm just in the process of finishing off, getting this uh, all topped. There's been a the odd glitch it might appear in a bit. We'll see um, where it's been missing bits of the crop, um, and I'm having to go back over it again. I think it's maybe just because the uneven nature of the field, maybe just not picking it up quite right with the uh, with this uh, top up but yeah we're doing okay get this uh, once this is topped then yeah as you can see there's a chunk down there that's been missed as well I think it's just that wee depression that's in the field but yeah we'll get on top of that that's fine and then yeah it's a case of getting this all done goodness knows how many more potatoes we're gonna get out of here it's gonna be ridiculous I think but um, yeah, we might have to put some more storage somewhere, we'll see. But yeah, you can see it's kind of been missing bits unfortunately. It's okay, once you go back over it, it does pick it back up again, but um, yeah, a little bit frustrating. But we're almost there. I think um, yeah, I'll come back and get this last bit. Uh, on the other side of the field there just get this bit done and then yeah we'll move on to the rest of the harvest I've brought down our Stuart trailer as well um, so we'll use a combo of that and the potato auger wagon um, to collect the potatoes up uh, Ironically, the Stuart trailer hold has a greater capacity than the, the auger wagon, but, you know, that's okay. Yeah, it's picking these up okay just now. There you go, let's just miss that one. Yeah, it might be that it just uh, didn't go down this strip because it sticks out a little bit. That's probably what it was. Missing bits myself. There we go. What a lot of potatoes. Happy though. Right, what we'll do, we'll set this up once again as a time lapse, otherwise this will take forever. Um, we'll get a bit of the, the harvesting and the shuttling going. As you can see, yeah, there you go, so it's just that dip in the ground I think. Just have to go at a funny angle to it. 
gets some of it, doesn't it? That's fine. Yeah. Right. I'll stop faffing with this in there. Yeah, we'll see you shortly. Once, yeah, once we get a good chunk through this field, hopefully. Well, some time later, we have got uh, got this field harvested. It has took a while. Uh, I forgot to take it off half speed, so it is only half past ten just now. <laughs> but, um, <coughs> we have uh, we've got quite a lot of this uh, field done, which is good. Um, just little bits along the edges that have been missed, and um, so just tidying this up a little bit, and then. Yeah, we will go and show you <laughs> where uh, we're at. As you saw, I did a quite a bit of um, packing as well. So I've been sorting the bags of uh, bags of potatoes as well. So we'll go and have a look at that in a second. But let's just get this last little bit off the field. Um, I've tended, I've used the Orgo wagon a little bit but not so much as I thought I would. I've been using the Stuart trailer instead because it just fits a lot better um, within the facility and uh, getting it underneath uh, our sort of canopy as well uh, where we're storing all the potatoes so it yeah we've been using using that a fair bit um, so I think I'm still going to keep hold of the the Orgo wagon but um, 
especially with uh, the fields that are a little bit more, if we buy more fields and they're a bit more remote, um, it's going to be a lot handier. And then as as things expand, I do intend to get a a truck stroke lorry stroke whatever you want to call it um, to transport uh, crops instead. So that will be um, it'll be invaluable for that if we're going to do it realistically. But I think that's it. Let's just quickly check the field. Yep, all clear. Fantastic. So in here. That's almost a full load again. So I've kind of lost count a little bit, but I'm thinking we're sitting roughly the same amount of potatoes that we did on the, the last go. So yeah, around about 160,000 litres, I'm thinking, something like that. Um, the field itself has yielded pretty good. Um, if we just have a quick look at the yield map. A bit of a mixed bag just because of the soil types, but um, yeah, this top end's really productive. Um, and then yeah, other parts of it, not so much, but we've done pretty well. Uh, nitrogen is rock bottom now though, but that's fine. So, just put this out of the way. Drop that down, hold up. Okay. And yeah, we'll take this up here. So also off screen, while I was just letting this do its thing, I was um, watching some YouTube videos. So watching a uh, good friend Cobbler Farms' video and um, Farmer Murphy as well. And um, if you haven't checked their channels out, do check them out. Um, and then yeah, I also got. Um, our grass field tethered as well. Um, yes, tethered. So that's that's had all the. Uh, there we go. Found the sweet spot on this at last. Kept getting caught on things, but it seems to be okay now. So I'll quickly show you what's been going on in here. Yes, I got the grass tethered. Um, so that needs windrowing and baling now. Yes, yeah, so this is all the extra potatoes we've put in. Um, so all this was here previously. So it might be a little bit less than uh, that we got off the other field actually. It might be a bit less. Yeah, but I've put a lot more through the packing facility on this field. So I've kind of been doing every other load has gone into here. So Wait for it. <laughs> we have a lot of seeded uh, seed potatoes, two rows, and premium potatoes, two rows, and loads of pig food as well. So three, six, hang on, three, six, nine, ten thousand liters of pig food there as well. And then, yeah, I've started filling up this side as well. I think I probably will hit the pallet limit, to be honest, at some point, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this little tally truck is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, perfect for in here, just really manoeuvrable, does the job brilliantly. Um, but it's still chugging away, we've still got lots of potatoes to process. Uh, so yeah i'll just keep doing that off camera and hopefully it'll all get finished but what we'll do now i think we'll just nip up to our main farm we'll finish the episode up there no idea how long this episode is going to be hopefully it's not too long um and yeah we'll nip up and we'll go and get um yeah we'll go and get the cows moved i think because that definitely needs doing uh so we'll take this up with us I'll come back and tidy up all this mess down here and what we'll need to do is we'll need to plough this field since it's had potatoes in it and yeah get it turned around for planting again. 
So, see up our main yard and uh, yeah, sort out the cows. Okay, folks. We're not at the farm, we're in the Kubota and we're just heading to the animal dealer. Um, apologies. Yeah, I got up to the farm and then realised actually all my wool is on this trailer, which is actually part of the animal transporter. So <laughs> I need to get rid of it. So it's an unscheduled spend, but we are going to purchase the, the wool merchant here so we can start producing fabric. So I just leave that there a second. We've got ten thousand litres of wool, which is pretty good. Um, so sixty thousand to buy this, um, and then that's going to start producing fabric for us, which is cool. Um, and like I said, I think on the last episode we'll look at getting uh, the getting the the spinnery, uh, the tailor shop operational um, when we have an opportunity to do that. There we go, so if we go on to our productions again fabric and wool so We'll start producing fabric now, so that will give us 5,000 litres of fabric. Uh, we don't need that one on, that's fine. Um, and that will do nicely. So, I'm going to quickly nip round here. This episode is going to be a lot longer by the way. <laughs> I just realised how, uh, how much I've been rabbited on. but. Um, yeah, we'll quickly have a look at our chocolate and our cheese, see how that's getting on, and then, yeah, we'll go up and sort these cows out. It's looking like over the next three months we're going to have new births um, with the cattle, so, uh, yeah, it's definitely quite timely to get them into this, uh, this uh, new barn. Right, so nip up here, quickly have a look. There we go, got some chocolate on the go, the lights, and uh, we've got our cheese on the go. So we've got two crates of each just now, um, and what I'll do next episode, we'll get some of that uh, collected up to be sold I think. But what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the farm, and yeah, I think we shall get the cattle sorted. Right, see you back up there. Okie doke, right. I think we're uh, sorted now. Let's get um, let's get these cows in here. So, got to make sure I get the right ones here. 29, 27. So I'm going to put these ones in. There we go. So I put these five ladies in. And they go down this end. There we go. So as you can see, all our grass is nice drying out into hay. You missed its head. So get this gate open. There we go and move to husbandry. Gate shut. Go, and then we'll leave this 
here just now. Get some TMR on the go. into here, there we go. I'm gonna have to make some more up but that's fine. Okay, I'll get this in here. This should be on the right side. Perfect. Fact. We'll just move this over here as well. And then what we'll do, that'll do them for now. I'm going to top all this stuff up off screen, um, but what we need to do is pick up this weight. Put down these forks. Just so I can get into here a bit easier. Okay. And I'll get some straw. Maybe not the most uh, neat way of doing it, but we do need a bale, so there we go, in fact, I need to go low then high, don't I? Right, and then this should go in here. This should start producing manure, hopefully. And we should start seeing this appear very, very soon. There we go. Straw is starting to appear on there. It's probably going to take a couple of bales, I think, by the looks of it. That's fine. So, I think, yeah, I'll finish off topping up these uh, animals. The, the, we'll top up the other cows as well, make sure they've got enough food. Alright, that's that done. And then, yeah, we'll... Yeah, we'll get on to... Probably the sugar beet harvest next time. I'm going to get this grass collected up. Um, I'll maybe pick up another couple of contracts as well. Um, because what I will do is I will need a whole load of money to um, do the sugar beet contract. Now, I resisted it this year because, yeah, I wanted to just give that other machine a go. But... I'm looking to get one of these next year. 
So we're going to test drive this. Now to release it, it is 24,000 to lease it. So I need at least that in the bank. I've got that, but it'll leave us pretty short. Um, so we're going to we're going to have to get that sorted. Um, and then, yeah, what I'll probably do is next episode we'll sell some of that methane as well. And yeah, the, we'll look at the prices of cheese and chocolate and yeah see if there's anything we can sell as well and uh, try and build our funds back up but i hope you've enjoyed it yeah lots of work for me behind the scenes but yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching the last of our potatoes get harvested and yeah we should have new calves next time as well but if you have enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel please do and if you want to share a comment you're more than welcome to get back to you as soon as you can but in the meantime from Greenlands take care and we will see you very soon all the best <laughs>